Sea turtles are at risk of disappearing from our sight forever. Have you ever considered a world without them? Off the coast of Malaysia, two sea turtles are about to mate, but there is a growing concern this could become a rare sight due to climate change. At the Chagahuta Turtle Sanctuary, scientists are literally moving mountains, or in this case, turtle nest. They relocate turtle eggs to cooler, shadier spots to ensure more balanced male and female archlings. Rising temperatures are causing more female archlings. Nicholas Tolin, a sea turtle researcher at the University of Malaysia, Teranganu, explains. Basically 28 to 30 degrees Celsius is where we have a mixed sex ratio. Anywhere over 30 degrees Celsius of, a, of an average incubation temperature is going to put you into 100% female biased hatchling production. And anywhere closer to 28 and under, you're going to have the opposite effect of a male biased. Marine turtle populations in Malaysia have been declining for decades due to egg harvesting, overfishing and weak conservation efforts. Leatherback turtles were a major attraction until the numbers crashed in the late 80s. Now, fewer males are being hatched. This problem isn't limited to Malaysia. Rising sand temperatures globally are causing a similar feminization trend. For instance, in Northern Australia, over 99% of total ashlings are female due to the warming sand and sea temperatures. This significant shift is a ticking time bomb for species survival as an imbalance in sex ratios could lead to population collapse. Volunteers at the sanctuary carefully remove the eggs to cooler areas and transfer hatchlings to a nursery before releasing them at night, reducing their exposure to predators. These efforts are crucial, but tackling climate change on a larger scale is more essential. The South China Sea's average temperature is creeping towards 30 degrees Celsius. Without serious climate actions, sea turtles face an uncertain future. International efforts to combat climate change are vital. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, protecting habitats, and enforcing conservation policies can make a difference. Uncontrolled global warming in the future, in the next 15, 20, 30 years, will be detrimental to sea turtle um, nesting populations worldwide because it will feminize uh, sea turtle hatchling populations, which will then lead to, to less productivity, less, less female turtles being able to mate and lay more eggs. Organizations like United Nations and Amnesty International are calling for stricter regulations and immediate actions. These conservation efforts are a race against time. We must act now to ensure sea turtles continue to grace our oceans. This is Ifeluwa Daniel reporting for Plan A in the fight to save Malaysia's sea turtles.